All right, so we needed a quick recap, right? Of what's been going on. I have used those breast strips. I was not impressed. First of all, they're expensive. And you have to use, like, you go through those boxes so quickly. Second of all, I don't feel like it stretched out my nose as much as it needed to. Like, I don't know. 60 plus hours then? Well, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta remember that, you know, I spend, uh, like, an hour at the beginning of each stream chatting. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe closer to 40, 50 hours? At this point all right so here is the quick and dirty recap okay kratos greek god of war right in the other game games decides this is before the game even starts to run away or or try to put his past in the past and goes up north somewhere in scandinavia in mid, he goes to Midgard, basically. Goes to Midgard. Starts a new life. Finds a wife. Has a kid named Atreus here. And the wife passes away. We don't know why she passed away. But she does. The start of the game is her... You know, she's already dead. Her dying wish was that her ashes be spread upon the tallest peak in the realms. So... Kratos and his boy Atreus set out to do just that. We get to what we feel like is the tallest key, t uh, peak in the realms, and, in, and it's in Midgard, um, to only to find out that the tallest peak in all the realms is actually in Jotunheim, the land of the giants, which you can't travel to because the giants uh, made it so the Bifrost Bridge can't go there anymore. So we've been on a quest to open up Jotunheim so we can get there and, and do this quest. Now, we've encountered a whole bunch of opposition from the gods. Odin, Thor, Thor's sons, Baldur. They have basically been trying to stop us for some reason. Um, and they've been trying to get to Jotunheim and they believe that we... Are the keys to get there and turns out we found out a way to get to Jotunheim and they want in they want to settle the score with the Giants and wipe them out uh, we have this talking head on our belt here named Mir uh, he is the smartest man in all the realms He's still alive he can talk to us he fills in a whole bunch of lore and stuff like that and uh, when last we played uh, we finally revealed to our son Atreus that we are in fact a god we've been keeping our past a secret from because it's a bad past right the stuff that we did in the other games is not so good especially for a little boy to hear uh, we actually revealed to him that we are a god and by interesting music that Atreus is actually a god as well by you know the fact that he's my son and he kind of let that go to his head a bit. We're gods. We can do whatever we want. And he got himself a, a, a big attitude. And it was, became a problem. He started to let his temper flare against us. He let it start his temper flare against others. And he actually, after we had defeated one of, uh, was it one of Thor's sons? Yeah, he basically became a sasshole. Right. You're right, Dragon Tears. He did. He, um... He actually, we defeated one of Thor's sons in battle, and we were going to, you know, give him mercy. And the little boy said, no, no, no mercy. And he went up and actually stabbed the guy in the neck and rolled him off a cliff. So he actually murdered a god. And after that, we had uh, a very, very stern talking to the boy. He told him to knock that crap out. And it seems like... He's back to being his normal self again, but we're still dealing with the aftermath of what he did. We actually found ourselves back in hell. That's where we are right now. Because of what this boy did. We are in the realm of hell, and we've got to escape hell a second time. So. So there we go. There's our quick and dirty recap. We're trying to get out of hell because of the boy's mistakes. And then we're going to try to get to Jotunheim so we can finish our quest. So we're going to try to take this ship. See if this ship can get us out of here. 
It took being flung into hell for the kid to shape up. That's right. Kids, am I right? <laughs> Space to work. First, we must break everything on the ship. Then, we will collect all the loot on the ship. Let me help. No. What can I do? You no. have done enough. See, we're still a little mad. Still a little mad. Can I get over there or no? They won't let me jump over there. Okay, fine. Let's go up here. Do I do anything with this? Do I spin this? I spin this. This is what I do. The sails are intact. Sweet. Great. Just bear in mind this boat can only take us part of the way. Only part of Tears the way. Tears Temple is near the top of a tremendous waterfall, which, sadly, we are downstream. That means even if we get there intact, we'd still need to sail up a waterfall somehow. The Vanier built the greatest ship that ever was, and it can fly. We can do this. Near. Yeah, because it was designed to fly. This was not. Nevertheless, this is the boat we have. Who's steering the boat? Somebody should steer the boat. Oh, you know, like... On perhaps the biggest iceberg I've ever seen. At least the fire's making heat. What now? We're in a f we're sailing a boat on fire in hell. How could this get any worse? Like you can't have a fire on the deck of your ship. Like that's not allowed. Like doesn't that break? Like I think I think it's the first rule. I think that breaks the first rule. Don't have a f open flame on the deck of your ship right near your sail. Like, what do you think? That's like, uh, I don't know, 10 I'm feet? not to be impatient. Let your father think. Alright, I'm gonna move this. This'll work. Dropping uh. it? Yeah, drop it. Room. Bink! So Bink! the sails are loose? Yes. I'm gonna grab Just one. Just watch. Watch how awesome I am. Just watch. See what I'm doing here? See? <laughs> I like when the character knows what you're supposed to do, but I don't. He's like, just watch what I do. And I like, <laughs> run around, not knowing what to do. <laughs> Look at me break these barrels. You got the sails loose. So now what? Shush, I'm thinking. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. All right, we're gonna go do this one. That's right, the, the boy actually shot me with an arrow during the argument, you're right. Pulling the sails down? But how are they gonna catch the wind? Oh, the fires are gonna make us fly. Somehow. Hey, Zero Gamer, what's up? The heat from the fire! We're actually floating! Yeah, this is our second time in Helheim. We're stuck again. Not for long. Stay with the boat. I can't believe it. You just made a huge sky lantern. Yeah, I don't know how that worked, by the way. It's gotta be magic. Okay. It looks like a big chest over here. There's gotta be bad guys here, isn't there? You're just gonna let me saunter over here and get this chest, are you? Yo, know, maybe you will. Maybe you will. 
What's this? Stone of Fire Supremacy. Increase all burn damage inflicted by 25%. Okay. Our ship's lodged on this bridge. Shark can't help? I said stay on the boat. Staying on the boat. Kids being all extra nice. We're trying to like. We're not gonna have any of that. You're not being forgiven. Alright, here we go. What's this? Hey! Stop it! We're on easy street. And it feels so sweet. And the world is such a treat. Oh, I missed. There we go. Stay there. Making sure I'm not missing any secret thing. Oh, there is a secret thing. How do I get that thing? How would one do that? Not that I think it's important. Oh, there's another thing down there, though. I know the ship is stuck in the bridge over there. How do I get this stuff? Do I have to heat this snow? Why do I have to stay at the boat? Mimir gets to go. Exactly. Kids. There's stuff over there. You guys can tell me. How do I get that stuff? I don't want to stay here forever. Anybody know? Yes, yes. One of the raise the platform without me on it. Ah, okay. You're so smart. Ha! You're so smart. Thank you. <laughs> What's this? Icarus Storm, light runic attack, a spinning attack that hits all enemies along a path. Let's see, how good is this one? Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> that looks a little weird, actually. Which was the one I, I did? The Blast of Hephaestus. Yeah, that's the one we're currently using. I kind of like that one. All right. <laughs> and then, and then, go up and let the elevator go down. Go up. What do you mean by go up and let the elevator go down? Raise it by throwing the axe through the gap and then get on the elevator. Then go to the top, get off, and recall the axe. Stay on the other side. The ship's stuck on this bridge over here. Raise it by throwing the axe. And then get on the elevator. So I just do this. Hey, 
Get that one level chest. Because I don't need that. Yeah, those usually just have like hack silver in it, right? I don't care about that. It's fine. Looks like I should be able to smack these things. Oh, here we go. Now I suddenly can get it. What's up, great dude, Dad? How's it going? Climb up here. Yeah, you don't need to take the lid off. You just smash. That's right. Did I unstuck it? What is it stuck on? I'm not really seeing. Where the ship connects to the pillar, that slab thing, spin the wheel. Seeing what it's stuck on. Oh, this thing here. This wheel. Spin the wheel. There we go. Wait for me there. Alright. Hi. Well, hello. Yeah, shoot them. Hey, hit the noise. Thanks so much for uh, snagging the book bundle web design on my humble link. I appreciate that. Alright, these guys are easier without weapons. Head off. Now I was thinking somebody should clip my uh, recap of the story from earlier. Or I, maybe I need to highlight it because it's probably more than 30 seconds. I probably have to highlight it. I should highlight that and then. We need to talk, brother. You do realize it's over, don't you? Even if we make it back to Midgard, you and Balder destroyed the only gate to Jotunheim. We are out of options. And that boy up there, he's in nine kinds of pain. His head's turned so far around he... Atreus is not your concern. Well, he might become everyone's concern if you don't do something. You don't have to be the smartest man in the world to see that. I like that Mimir's taking a... A second when the boy's not there to kind of advise. I, I really hope that by the end, like, Mimir, like, Kratos and Mimir, like, form a real friendship. Because right now it still feels like Kratos, uh, still just treating him like a tool, you know? You were a means to an end.
Atreus. I can help? Together now. Going to get out of here. Face me, father. It is time to end this. Yes, my son. It is time. No. It's that voice again. Do you know who that is? I do not know. Lie. Lie. The skies of Helheim. I Hold on. Hold on. Lose your head! Guy. He's got a cool looking sword. Give me that. I want that. You guys are just gonna keep coming. The fire's out! Monster! Oh he they unlit that's what they do. They're trying to they're trying to get us to sink. Like the fire again. Oh boy. What the hell? Get these anchors out of here. Our food. I will free us. before we reach the temple. Yeah, it's freezing. As long as we maintain this speed and those fires don't go out, we should be there in no time, lad. Look at that. Is that the giant... Is that a giant crow? Raven? Is that what that fuzzy thing is? Hey! Who the hell's doing that? Oh, it's you. Good job, boy. Get him, boy! Try it, man! I gotta light the fire! My ship. Get off my ship. That that was one big ass bird, wasn't it, Crom? 
Same time, is that game over? It makes sense, right? Fine. God, they are so loud. Game too loud. Uh oh, another harpoon. Turn the game down a little. That's a bad noise. I don't like that. Get this out of here. Get this out of here. And there are no conditions, no bargains or petitions. Let's go. Vermeer, how's the fire staying lit? Would you believe magic? Or the flames? <laughs> Voodoo magic. My axe is right there. Hi. Fire out! 
go out on the Hellheim ship. That was that was it. That was that was a fail. That was a fail. What? Now it's a random boat. Random boat. I didn't light it all the way. Mohammed Alib, thanks for following. Light him up. Okay, I gotta I gotta do more. Do more more of the lighting of the fire. I don't like this guy. No, no. I know the death in the fire, but I'm killing this guy first. Get out of here. Oh, I didn't mean that. Stop. Stop raging. Go. Do this. Are you serious? This is this is this is not good. I lit the other one. I lit the Do I just have to keep one of them lit? Because I could just camp on one of them and fight. out on the other one. All right. Let me go light. All right. Is that all the way? That's all the way. Got some green fire on the bottom. Looks pretty good. Get away from the fire! No fires! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! There we go. What's that? Great. Great. Stop again. Come on. the boat speed Okay. Hi, friend. No. There's too much to do. Oh, can't. Can I have to kill these guys first? Can I get up here? Isn't that where the harpoon is? Where's the harpoon?
That looked heavy. Alex Kings, thanks for it the follow. Is time, my son. Look around at what you have done. seeing this? Is the so boy seeing what he did to his father? Come on, we gotta go! You saw. There's no time, look! Oh, crap. Nice dodge. Made his deck check. That was some Captain America style crap right there. That was your plan. You're both cracked. <laughs> We are leaving this realm. Now. As long as we didn't wreck our way back. Alright. That was pretty cool. That was pretty epic. We're look we're in some sort of like underwater aquarium, it looks like. Yeah. You know? Those fancy hotels. It's partially submerged, so you can watch like sea creatures while you're in your room. Nice little fire going. Alright. It's Odin's. I'd recognize his atrocious taste anywhere. Oh, wait. Is there a way to go this way, too? We can go both ways. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think this is where Odin brought all his best clues about Jotunheim. Is that a treasure map? No, it's a lore scroll. The search for any trace of Jotunheim Tower remains fruitless, not only Midgard, but in all realms in which the tower once stood, there is now only a mystic echo of what it was. Had it been destroyed by might, some remnant would remain, but this magical vestige suggests magical means. It must exist somewhere. Our horde of loyal spies continues to grow. I cannot doubt someday we will find it, wherever it may be hidden, the Raven Keeper. So they were trying to get into Jotunheim. And it looks like Tyr helped the giants obfuscate Jotunheim. Bonus to all stats. Epic enchantment. Okay, I think we want to go put that on. I think we will. Epic enchantment. Enchantment? Enchantment! What's the one I have here? This one here? Call it to the tr No, wait. Uh, no, we want to do sockets. Go to sockets. This one. Slightly increases max sprinting speed. Uh, that, might be, that might be fun to keep. Uh, this one. Increase all frost damage inflicted. Hi. Are there buttons on our TV? Are what? Are there buttons? Are there buttons on the TV? For yeah. what? Because I just need to know. There's no buttons on the TV. I don't no, think so. Okay. Why? You're trying to fix that Twitch setting? I am, but you, I can't deal with our remote because it's connected to the cable box of the TV. Yeah. So I can't pull up a menu for the TV settings because it's, it's only trying to do it for the Verizon cable box. That's fine. If, I don't know. No I, I can look at it afterward. No, I, I don't know. Do we have a remote okay. for the TV somewhere? Don't Okay. It's, it's, it's I'm really that, concerned now. It's not. I will. I 
will punch you when I feel better. <laughs> okay? I don't have the energy to do it. We're watching Twitch on the big TV, and, like, the sides are cut off, and it's really kind of annoying. It's, you know what it is? It's an Xbox. It's like, I checked it. Yeah. And it's not fitting, like, it's too, it's too zoomed in on the Xbox. I don't know how to fix it. it yeah. Stinks. Oh, we'll try to fix it later. All right. Um, which of these is not the best? See, I like the barehanded attack thing. Moderate movement blessing of runic when using a runic attack. Defense and cooldown. Increases damage of all axe throws. Let's get rid of this one. And let's put the new one in. Increases stun damage inflicted. Oh, I kinda see I kinda want that too. Alright, let's do the stat stick here. And I need another spot for. That's a good one too. And Vari Soul. Gift of Strength. Frost Damage. Am I doing much Frost Damage? Maybe not. Let's unsocket this and put the Flawless one. I like the... St I, my whole... I like the stunning thing. I really like stunning the creatures and then tearing them apart. <laughs> it seems to... It seems to make shorter work of the creatures. So this is just a nice little hidden room. Bog likes to be stunning. I do. I do. I want to break through here. So does it tell us where we are? We're still in Helheim. Okay. Look at that! It's the missing panel about here. Odin must have stolen it. But why? Why? He always has his reasons. Might I have a look? Well, this is most unexpected. Why? What does it mean? I haven't the foggiest. Isn't that unexpected? <laughs> look, clearly that's Tyr. Traveling somehow. Perhaps magically. But what's that to do with the giants that they should devote a shrine to it? I'm afraid that is none too clear. <laughs> what are those runes in the corners? Not runes. Symbols from different lands. They mean... War. Aye. How do you... This one I know too well. Oh. His eyes. They are jewels. Like yours. No doubt signifying the gift of sight the giants granted us. Give me a closer look. Let's just push his face right up against it. Interesting. Oh, I like that Kratos figured that out. Very interesting. What is that? Secret plans concealed by Tyr so none could access but him. And those few others the giants trusted. And right under Odin's nose, ho ho ho! I did promise I'd get you to Jotunheim. What do you mean, Ed? You said we were out of options. Don't you see, brother? Odin never gave up hope, and neither should we. He knew there was a clue in here, but we're the ones who found it. These plans are for a key to some chamber tears kept hidden. I don't know where it's leading or what we'll find, but it's a path. How do we make this key? I suggest we ask a dwarf. I love the runes on my uh, armor right there. I love that. It looks awesome. I think I know just the door that key goes to. Down by the water. Remember? No. I have no idea what you're talking about. But okay. Glad you remember. Let me break everything now. We should break this so Odin can't find the clue, right? Yeah. The symbols in the corner might mean future installments after we finish with Norse, Egyptian, Persian. Think so? I think you're looking into it a little bit too much, right? 
So the symbols in the corners. Could be though. Yeah, that's you know, you got an Egyptian symbol in the top left. That's the Greek one in the top right. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Egyptian and Japanese. Yeah, I don't know what all those symbols are. destroy benches at tables and desks that's what I do it's what I live for hmm. so if this was like Odin's like oh, this is like Odin's study why did he do why did he put this in hell See anything? You did not see me with someone. An old man. What old man? Why is he lying? Hmm. Can we go? Yes. Very well. Mm, why is the boy lying? Interesting. All right. Let's get back to Midgard and see about making that key. It was Just that dwarf. It was Norse, Greek, Egyptian, and Japanese. Is that what it was? That's pretty cool. Who's gonna find it there? I, I guess you're right. That's a pretty good place to hide something, huh? I was attracted by the shiny. I was like, ooh, shiny thing. That was interesting. So we're going back to Midgard? Can't go, yeah. Go back to mid. Talk to the door. Back to Mika. Why did you not tell us Balder is the son of Freya? But he he is. is. For the 25 <laughs> months of seven. Thanks for the 25 months of seven. Back for another month with wonderful otters. Thank you, Dublinari, for the 25 months of seven. Can we get some hype and a love in the chat to celebrate this resub? Thank you so much for. Uh, being here and being an awesome member of the community month after month. Thank you. 25. Wow. Lots of months there. Over two years. Thank you. Shocking every time I hear it, and yet obviously I know it. When I think about Boulder and Freya, I... The mayor? Yes, lad. <laughs> Freya. How's that, brother? Fred, tell me Boulder's vulnerability. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Wait, what is happening? He is bewitched not to speak of what he knows. I am? I am! Oh, that's it precisely! I wonder how long that's been so. Since she had my head at her mercy, or back when I figured out Baldur's weakness. I'm here! Yes, lad? You just said you figured out Baldur's weakness. Did I? But Boulder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. <laughs> this means there is a way. If he troubles us again, we will find it. <laughs> I love that. That was such a good exchange. <laughs> I want to listen to that whole thing again. Oh well. I, anybody here uh, a kindred spirit with me? Is anybody else a rewinder? Like, I'll drive Azaria crazy sometimes. I Like, when I'm watching a show or a movie, if there's, like, a really great part, I want to rewind it, like, immediately. Even if I'm... It's the first time I'm watching it, you know, I want to stop right there, rewind it for, you know, 30 seconds and watch it. Who else is a rewinder? And do you drive your, like, significant others crazy? <laughs> I'm 
Golemis, see, see, this is interesting. Renami says, I do that, rewind all the time. And Golemis says, oh god, no, why? See, people are different. Some people don't like that. Others do. Your best friend is like that, drove me nuts as a kid. I, I love rewinding. I want to see that again. Like, I would rewind that part again. I don't know. I never know how to get out of this stupid place. You love rewinding, Wasco? Just watch the show, says Grail. Let it play. Watch it again later if you must. No, I gotta watch it right then because I won't remember at the end or like then you have to like find it. Like I don't want to find it. Like it's right here. I can just rewatch it 30 seconds so that we can go on. You would hate to rewind in the middle of something. I'd finish the show and then rewatch. That's too, that's too inconvenient. I don't know. I like rewinding. Ruins the rhythm. There's no rhythm. The rhythm is in your mind. Can you make it? Is it a weapon? Armor? Or likewise an instrument of war of which I'm a master at shaping? <laughs> no? Then forget it. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo -gaw, I'm liable to cheat my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. Then shingle it. <gasps> Pattern weld the item with scap slag. Keep the layers thin. Alternate the overlay. <gasps> okay, smart guy. Uh, together. Where do you propose to find a lump of quality scap slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Is that... Where did you? I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Let's do this. What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? Well, hell, why not? <laughs> yes. What? I can grow too. I can grow too. Oh, oh I'm so happy they're fine. together. Keep your wrists loose. No, you keep your wrist loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. You gonna temper that steel longer? You don't need to. I triple quenched it with Draugr oil. See, how inventive and sanitary. <laughs> you clever little beaver. Never too late to learn a new trick, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. Here it is. Nope. Don't forget this. The brands. Twin brands. No, oh, quit your grinning. It's downright unsettling. <laughs> it's just nice to see you together. But now the rune on your brand looks different. Yeah, price of uh, reforging something what broke. I knew it. You two love each other. Oh, cut it out, Francis. You're gonna get me all weeping. <laughs> oh. I like even better. Don't you? For the puppies! We have work to do. <laughs> yes, we can. No. He's wearing gloves. You can touch him. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy that they're together. My brother and me got a new project. Now that we're on speaking terms. Ooh, a side quest. I like side quests. Oh, how good is that? What was the quote that he said? He's like, I haven't made something like that since... What was it? Since I could go rigid down south? Something like that. I don't know. It was so funny. <laughs> oh, boy. What do you want? With the whetstone and hammer you've retrieved for us, Brog and I can construct the Devegrathiker. Dwarven armor of legend. We Ooh, that just sounds need good. three more mythical ingredients before we set to hammer. Which are? Dunno. Armor's pure legend. And the details is fuzzier than a wolfer's butthole. You expect us to find parts from a legend? Oh, Motsugnir the dwarf king found two of them. Everyone knows that. But when he went looking for the third, poof, he vanished. Maybe he'll find some clues at his stronghold in Konun's guard. 
And looky here, a Conan Scarred Entry Stone. It's got your name on it. How fucking strange. <laughs> Go to Conan's Guard Stronghold. All right. The stronghold's northwest of here, behind the Svartalfheim Realm Tower. Large stone structure, creepy atmosphere. You'll know it when you see it. The Love Holger it. Brothers, back in action again. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Never think I'd see such a day we was back to building as a duo. But it feels right, especially for this. Been so used to building on my own all these years, almost forgot how dang useful an extra pair of hands is. I forgot how much easier it is to smelt scaps lag with someone else gauging the temperature. This will be our best work yet. Just need a little help from you lot. Something else we can do for you? Nah, no, just glad you guys worked it out. Ah. Well, I could say the same to you. Huh. I guess I was getting a bit full of myself. Told him what he needed to hear, how's it sounds to me. Just the same. I'm sorry for all I spoke to you, Sindri. You forgive me? Already have. Oh. Like you said, it all worked out. Now, let us get back to work before I get... Sentimental. <laughs> to work it is! Alright, ooh, we got a Blade of Chaos upgrade. I forgot about that. Yes, let's do that. Blades of Chaos! Upgrade! Oh. One of these days, you're gonna tell me who made those beauties. Not likely. Okay, so we got that. Um, I want to sell... No, I don't want to sell any of that. Lost items? What? Traveler's Armor Shard. I lost some items, guys. And Traveler's Grizzly Trope. Oh, I must have not looted somebody. That's cool. I love that feature. And they have new stuff. So I'm assuming... Well, I can't even do it anyway. Look at this stuff. Avaldi's. This is the Avaldi set. I'm assuming I shouldn't make or try to buy anything until we find out about this legendary armor, right? Should I do that next? Legendary armor sounds fun. Buy uh, res stones. Do I have one ready? Yeah, I got one. Upgrade my chest. Yeah, we'll hold on to it. You take care now. I just got to say, these guys are my favorite. They're also the reason I had to wear headphones to play anytime my landlady was around. <laughs> Yeah. This guy, they're amazing. The characters in this game, <clears throat> they're on point. Mimir, the two dwarves, Freya, I mean, Kratos and the boy. I mean, like, every character is solid. The key has got to be for that crazy door downstairs, hidden around the back. Remember? No, I don't, but that's okay. That's why I got you around. All right, um... I would like to go after some legendary armor. Are you guys game for helping me get legendary armor? Shall we do that? Is it a labor? Or a favor? It's a favor. Hail to the king. Piggy Fluff says, don't forget the squirrel. What's the squirrel? SP Kid says, let's do it. Hi, Mellow Star. How are you feeling? Are you feeling better? The summon. What about the squirrel? What about it? Oh yeah, the squirrel in terms of characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I got you. I got you. The squirrel is funny too. You're right. When you summon the squirrel, he like gets all ornery. <laughs> it's hilarious. All right. Um. So we can buy new stuff. Switch stances by pausing momentarily after Blades of Chaos attack. Once in the new stance, press R1 to perform a flurry of close attacks. So we're going to snag that ability. This one is, while evading, hold L and press R1 to attack all enemies in a large radius. So you're going to evade and then do it. Okay. Oh, I already have that. 
Why does it glow? Is it glowing because I've already unlocked the upgrade? Is that what it is? Okay, gotcha. I gotcha. The Spear of Chaos attack creates a minor burn explosion on contact, inflicting burn damage. Sure, we'll get that. And while aiming, hold R2 to charge the Blades of Chaos even further and release a powerful elemental slash. Okay, we got all that. All of that is unlocked. All of that is unlocked. All of that. Okay, we're, we're pretty we're pretty well unlocked. We gotta upgrade the Blades of Chaos one more time to unlock everything. Hey, Warlock, what's up? How's it going, Bog? I can only be here for a half hour because of lunch. I hope you're having an amazing day stream. I hope you are as well. I'm doing great. I saw that you, were all, you had to mute the stream, but I'm glad you're uh, able to unmute for a little while. Okay, so, um, this side quest. Where is the side quest? My goal. I want to track it and go to map. We're going up here. Okay. How the hell do I go up there? Oh, Melostar. Wow. That doesn't sound good. I'm glad that you feel better, though. I'm glad you feel better. I hope you are on the mend soon. Don't forget to check your runes for upgrades. How do I check them for upgrades? Like this, you mean? I don't think I can. Go to the sockets. Could I have to do that at the dwarf? Ugh. Oh, those are enchantments. Enchantments, enchantments. Check my runes. You mean these? My heavy runic attacks? Oh, these. Yeah, we can upgrade these. Why not? Tartarus Rage. That one's already upgraded. That is not a rune. That's upgraded. That's upgraded. This can be upgraded. Murder of Crows. Nice. Alright, thanks for the tip. 